how much time before there's regular travel back and forth to Mars? Uh, my view is we should move to Mars to preserve civilization. Mars is really hard. <laughs> Not just that it's far away, getting to the surface is hard. It's about four tenths the size of the Earth, so it has four tenths the gravitational pull. So the atmosphere is one one hundredth the density of our atmosphere. We use our atmosphere to slow down. You try to slow down the amount of mass we have to take to the surface, it's almost impossible. So you'd have to take this huge amount of a propellant and power your way down. Even just getting to the surface is really, really hard. You know, things break all the time. You can't take all the spare parts with you. So you're gonna have to be able to additive manufacturing, 3D printing, enough food? Are you going to rely on a crop that might go bad? And I don't think a one-way trip to Mars is viable because what is your success criteria? You get to the surface, woohoo, and you got a month to live. And that's not very successful. I don't see it happening in our lifetime. It is hard, and all that technology that has to be developed that would include radiation protection and propulsion, the assured ability to return once you got there and did the mission, it would have to be present on the surface of the Mars before you ever launch a crew. In other words, you have to have all the supplies, everything that needed to survive once they got there. I'm not a proponent of the humans to Mars. It's a mission that can be more easily done with AI and the uh, robotics that we have today. My wife supported my idea, my desire at the beginning of my career to go to the moon. You know, when we were talking about going back to the moon, I always wanted to go to the moon. I never wanted to go to Mars. When do you anticipate 